Welcome back to Music with Mrs. Tamplin. Today we're going to be reading the book Commotion in the Ocean by Giles Andrea. So come on and join me for this fun book about all these different animals. As we read the book, we're going to be creating a ostinato. Well, what is an ostinato? An ostinato is a repeated pattern. It can be rhythmic or melodic. Today, we're going to be doing a rhythmic ostinato. So listen to the four different ostinato patterns that we have for today. Follow the movements to whichever pattern you like the best. Ready and. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. Swimming, swimming in the ocean. Swimming, swimming in the ocean. Catch that fish. Catch that fish. Oh no, a shark. Oh no, a shark. Now let's hear how it sounds all together with all four rhythmic ostinatos. Ready and. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. the ocean. Now, let's add our ostinatos with the book. Choose your favorite ostinato out of the four, and when I say, ready, and we're gonna add the ostinatos with the book. So let's read Commotion in the Ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's a turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find who's hiding there. Crab. The crab likes walking sideways, and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. Ready and. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. the ocean. Dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not, how do you do, as I'd say to you, it's more of a click-whistle squeak. Angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there's no other creatures as Gorgeous and lovely as me. Jellyfish. The jellyfish just love to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling's lots of good fun. Ready and... There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. the ocean. 
Shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. Octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Ready and there's a curious collection at the bottom the of the ocean. ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. The ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. The ocean. Stingray, at the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. Lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Deep sea. Miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. Ready and there's a curious collection at the bottom the of the ocean. ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. The ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. The ocean. Blue whale. There is no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. We're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous, but that's our favorite thing. Barnacles. Walruses. Our bodies are covered with blubber, and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud, and we'll bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Ready and... There's a curious commotion at the bottom the of the ocean. ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. The ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. The ocean. Penguins. We waddle around on the icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. Polar bears. Deep out in the Arctic, the mommy polar bear snuggles up with all her children since it's very cold out there. What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly and the lobster's very fierce. But the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we've made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. The end. 
What a wonderful book about all the different animals in the ocean. I think my favorite animal was the dolphin. What was your favorite animal? Let me know in the comment section below. Today, we read the book, Commotion in the Ocean, and we created rhythmic ostinatos. Remember, an ostinato is a repeated pattern. You can have rhythmic patterns or you can have melodic patterns that are repeated and those are called ostinato. You have rhythmic ostinato and melodic ostinatos, but an ostinato is always a repeated pattern. I hope you had fun with our rhythmic ostinatos and reading our book, Commotion in the Ocean. I hope you have an opportunity to go to the beach and get to swim in the ocean. Have a wonderful summer and I miss you so much. Goodbye.